Today's video is brought to you by Beautiful Halo. Um, thank you so much for sponsoring me, first of all. And if you guys would like some good quality anime merch, you can go to Beautiful Halo, link in the description below. And on your next $49 plus order, you can get 5% off with the code MEME. And if it's $99 plus, you can get 10% off with the same code MEME. M E M E. And you, so all the intro. Welcome back guys, this is the King of Weebs here and this is What If <laughs> Naruto Was Betrayed Part 2 Last time we left off with Naruto Actually uh, being done with at least a week of doing missions with this team And of course Naruto is kind of getting used to it, you know He uh, is actually become friends with, uh, you know, Sakura and uh, Sasuke, Sakura actually who didn't like Naruto at all, she didn't fancy him at all She's like oh my god why are you here again and blah 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 when, whenever they were in the academy But now Naruto seems a lot better, uh, you know, she finds him cool, 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 cool. English uh, She sees him a bit, you know, like a cooler person, uh, cooler, <laughs> cooler person but anywho, uh, now Naruto actually uh, asks, uh, you know, Neji, I mean, not Neji, uh, Kakashi, if, uh, you know, he can train him. And, you know, Kakashi at first is like, well, you see, I can't really do it right now because I am busy reading my book. But, you know, one day, maybe one day. And, you know, Naruto was kind of bummed out that, you know, uh, Kakashi wouldn't train him. But, anywho, uh, his way is, he can train on his own. He just wanted to, uh, you know... Uh, have uh, someone to you know teach him uh, stronger techniques because he knows that you know as I said before uh, he did do research about Kakashi and he is known for you know mastering a thousand you know jutsus which impressed Naruto quite a bit and so he actually wanted to learn some of those uh, jutsus from Kakashi but his way is if Kakashi doesn't have the time for it, it is fine anywho Naruto, of course, after this, you know, finishing their missions, he goes back to training on his own, and Kakashi this time actually follows Naruto here. Of course, Naruto wants to, you know, train with his friends, but, you know, his friends were actually on missions, uh, and of course, they were doing multiple missions a day, not only one, uh, and even though, you know, Team 7 is more than capable enough to do it, it's because Kakashi really cannot be asked. But anywho, now, of course, Naruto, he was training on his own, um, you know, Tsuki was actually uh, done uh, with her mission, so, you know, Team 8 was out, and uh, uh, Shino went off on his own, uh, so, you know, Hinata actually went with Tsuki to actually see Naruto, of course, uh, Hinata still, you know, uh, trying to make friends with Naruto, but in the end, you know, just betray him, uh, just tell him that she doesn't like him, after beating the shite out, uh, shite, not shite, uh, shite out of him, but anywho, now, uh, of course, uh, Naruto, who was uh, training on his own. Um, of course, uh, Tsuki tells, uh, you, you know, Hinata where they usually train. And Hinata uh, says that she'll go uh, there in a bit. And basically, Tsuki's like, well, I'll be a bit, uh, I'll go a bit later because I need to go, tr uh, you know, change and everything. And then, of course, now, Naruto and, uh, you know, uh, he, well, Hinata actually arrives. Well, now that she knows where Naruto trains, uh, she arrives there and, you know, uh, she asked Naruto what she, what he was doing, or what she, but anyway, of course, Naruto tells her that, you know, he's been training, uh, and nothing else, uh, and yeah, of course, uh, Hinata says, oh, so you train, and, you know, Naruto says, oh, yeah, I do, and basically, you know, uh, then Hinata's like, can I join your training, and anyway, of course, Naruto's like, yeah, of course you can, and anyway, of course, when, uh, Everyone arrives, they see that, uh, you know, Hinata has joined their training And Hinata was like one of those um, anime characters where, you know, there's this one girl that likes the, uh, you know, main character But the main character likes someone else and in the end, you know, that prick, uh, you know, betrays him You know, there are a lot of animes, I have watched them and it's not fun I always call them bitches And he, of course, uh, not all ca uh, characters are like that, but anyhow uh, Now, 
yes um sometimes i'm called weird by you know my family for just uh, you know shouting out the oh, arch she's a bitch i can tell i can tell yes i do that i did that with gamers fam i did that with gamers what's it called i don't like the ship in gamers i, I like uh, the thing i forgot the names but the main character is sh has to be shipped with his you know gaming partner from that mobile game fam nah jeez i like I'm sorry guys, if anyone watched Gamers, uh, you mu you must understand. Anywho, of course, uh, let's not get into, you know, my personal life, that's boring. Anywho, of course, Naruto, uh, well, the rest weren't too, you know, happy about Naruto just inviting her without, you know, telling them at first. Because, you know, they do train together, so shouldn't they know too? But anywho, of course, uh, they just let it, you know, go since, uh, um, even though, you know, uh, Neji and, uh, <clears throat> well, not Neji, uh, Shikamaru and Choji were kind of like, oh, Naruto, you don't, never understand. And of course, Naruto, what they mean by that is that Naruto never gets the hint that Tsuki actually likes him. But, you know, Tsuki just puts on a fake smile and, you know, just goes along with it and says, oh, it's fine. You can train with us. We don't have any problem with it. And, you know, uh, Shikamaru and Choji just... You know, glare at Naruto for a minute, but you know, Naruto's like, huh? And basically, you know, like, Ugh, Naruto, you don't understand. And basically, you know, they actually begin training. But anywho, of course, Naruto kind of shows off a bit, you know, just a few techniques of his own that he created. But of course, uh, uh, now, you know, uh, Hinata actually uh, brought up the idea of sparring. And Hinata wanted to actually spar with Naruto to, uh, you know, um, gauge his strength. And, you know, Naruto's like, are you sure you want to fight me? And, you know, uh, Hinata's like, yeah, you don't have to hold back or anything. Uh, I can fight on my own. And basically, you know, Naruto's like, okay then. And of course, now Hinata was actually taking this opportunity to actually, you know, um, actually hurt Naruto quite a bit. And, you know, just acting like, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you and everything. You know, the, the prick technique. Yes, I call it that. But anywho, of course, uh, Naruto begins uh, the fight and he doesn't go, you know, too hard on Hinata because, you know, he thinks that he's stronger. But, you, of course, Naruto's underestimating a Hugo and Hugo's aren't weak. Uh, we've seen that in the anime, especially because they can use the Byakugan, but anywho, and the manga, don't forget the manga, um, and anywho, of course, now, uh, Naruto, uh, who, uh, you know, begins the fight by actually trying to blitz Hinata, but of course going a bit slower than usual, and, you know, Hinata saw that Naruto wasn't too fast, but Naruto, this is not Naruto's true speed, and, you know, uh, Shikamaru, Choji, and Tsuki see that Naruto is actually holding back against, you know, Hinata, and uh, they realized that, you know, Hinata wasn't going to hold back anything, uh, she didn't look like she was about to hold back or anything, you know, uh, Hinata, t uh, you know, turns on her um, Byakugan and literally just hits Naruto in one of his chakra points, and, you know, Naruto wasn't expecting this one, even though Naruto doesn't really fully understand chakra, you know, uh, vessel, or, or, or chakra points and vessels, anywho, of course, um, he doesn't really get at first, but he realizes that, you know, so, uh, some of his chakra is uh, blocked for some reason. He can't use all of it. And, you know, at first he thinks it's just a chakra control, you know, uh, problem. But it's not. It's because, you know, uh, his chakra point got blocked. Of course, Shikamaru, who actually knew about uh, the Hugo being able to do this, you know, he clocked on and he was like, oh, no, Naruto, <laughs> you, you messed up. You took it too lightly. And, of course, you know, he's being serious here. Uh, because Naruto's chakra, you know, point uh, <clears throat> got blocked, and now that Naruto can't use, uh, you know, his chakra well, of course, uh, he's in trouble. Of course, uh, uh, you know, uh, Neji wants to tell him, but since this is going to be a fair fight, Neji doesn't uh, decides to not tell him, and he actually just talks to, you know, uh, Tsuki and Choji about it, and uh, just uh, while watching this fight, you know. Uh, it just becomes a tad duty fight at this point because Naruto uh, <clears throat> cannot use his chakra well and he doesn't want to, uh, you know, hurt um, <clears throat> Hinata in any uh, sort of way. And Hinata is taking advantage of this. Now, Hinata actually, you know, being a bit better than Naruto in tad duty, especially because she's a Hyuga and she uh, has been training most of her life. And here, Hinata is actually a prodigy, just saying. And anywho, of course, now... Naruto having a hard time against Hinata, of course, uh, Neji just shouts out uh, uh, and tells, uh, you know, Naruto to not hold back anymore, um, this is getting out of hand, he's going to lose at this rate, and, you know, Naruto then says, I'm sorry, Hinata, and basically, you know, Hinata's like, 
So I guess I didn't take it. So, uh, <laughs> English. And then you know she just whispers to herself and she's like, "God damn, I should have done more damage while I had the chance to." But of course now you know uh, Naruto actually um, heads towards Hinata at top speed and Hinata can't even keep up with her. You know her Biak gun and you know Naruto appeared out of nowhere and um, you know got a good blow into you know. Uh, Hinata and Hinata kind of went flying. I say kind of, but she did go flying. But anyway, of course, Hinata being hurt, Naruto was kind of worried and actually ran towards her. But Hinata jump, jumps back up and you know kicks Naruto right in the chest. And you know uh, Hinata's like, "Don't take this fight to you <clears throat> lightly. I'm not going to lose." And of course, uh, as she says that, you know Naruto then says, "All right then." And you know, as he said that, you know, he actually teleports. Oh uh, well, not teleports. He actually, you know body flickers in front of Hinata and yeah he tries to uh, actually you know throw a kunai on the other side so um, he can actually create more oh I mean I uh, think uh, a, he can actually do one of his techniques uh, that he created himself uh, you know that technique that he used against uh, <clears throat> Kakashi but it was too late Hinata already blitzed uh, towards Naruto and actually uh, got a few good hits on Naruto and Naruto was actually knocked out cold because of uh, you know Hinata's precision um, precision blows and everything but anywho now of course uh, now Naruto um, on the floor uh, actually wakes up like 20 minutes later you know on uh, Tsuki's lap and Hinata was already gone and you know Neji and the rest uh, were just looking at the uh, at Naruto, uh, not at the Naruto, but at Naruto, and they just said you went too easy on her. You should have finished the fight when you had the chance to. And you know Naruto says, "I guess I did." And of course now uh, Naruto Kando, you know, <clears throat> made himself into a fool, and you know uh, they just uh, you know then Shikamaru, Choji, and Suki just started laughing, and they say uh, and they just said Naruto. You really need to be careful. A crush can't get in your way. And you know, Naruto then you know starts laughing, saying, "Maybe you're right." And of course, now they were just joking around, but they continued the training while Hinata was actually watching from afar with Neji. Of course, Neji actually arrived here after you know uh, Hinata actually told him to come and watch them. And you know, they see that Naruto actually was holding back a lot because against you know his friends, Naruto doesn't hold back anything. And you know, uh, they go all out. And of course, Naruto still being weaker than Tsuki and uh, Shikamaru and Choji. Yes, Naruto, even though having some pretty good techniques that even caught off, uh, caught the uh, Kakashi of God, uh, is still weaker than all three of them. And that is because of you know them always having a head start on uh, you know the uh thing, uh learning how to do jutsu because Naruto never had good chakra control until you know. Uh, he, you know, learned the Shadow Clone Jutsu, but anywho, of course, now, uh, <clears throat> Naruto, uh, actually, uh, it's been a few weeks, it's been four weeks after, a full month after, you know, Team 7 actually began their training, and Naruto has already, uh, you know, mastered the Fireball Jutsu, uh, yes, Naruto actually found out that he actually has Fire Release now, and, you know, now he has full Chakra Natures, and he has Lightning, Water, Wind, and Fire, but anywho, of course, the Hokage was really impressed by Naruto's development, and he, you know, since Naruto has four chakra natures, it's uh, you know revealed that Naruto, you know, is kind of a uh, genius. But of course, he's not a genius; he's just um, gifted. But anywho, uh, now Naruto, of course, uh, uh, again bored of uh, C, uh, well, D ranked missions, uh, asked the Hokage if they could get a higher ranked mission because. Uh, it's boring just doing the same rank of, uh, you know, mission, for example, uh, you know, C rank is just so boring uh, for Naruto at this point. But anyway, of course, uh, Naruto, uh, you know, the Hokage actually uh, knows that Naruto is actually pretty strong and, you know, uh, so he trusts and plus he trusts Kakashi, that's what I meant, not so he trusts. And, you know, uh, in the end, actually, he decides to give them a C rank mission and then he tells, you know, uh, <clears throat> Tarzana to walk in and Tarzana walks in and you know um, he still makes the joke about uh, Naruto here and you know Naruto here actually doesn't get pissed off because you know he's used to all the bullying and everything by other people and so he just uh, um, doesn't reply and yeah of course the Hokage um, was surprised that Naruto wouldn't you know retaliate but of course even though Naruto being uh, a knucklehead uh, he doesn't care at this point. He only cares about you know um, the mission at uh, right now uh, at hand, not right now at hand. 
Uh, but anywho, well, I could say that right now too. But anywho, of course, Naruto just says, well, I can't really do much about that, can I now? And, you know, uh, <clears throat> Kazuna and just, uh, you know, shuts up because uh, Naruto was giving off a bit of his blood dust. But anywho, uh, Kazuna could feel it. And uh, so he just shut up because he doesn't want to get killed. But anywho. Even Kakashi, uh, you know, felt this bloodlust and he's like, wow, Naruto has bloodlust. Amazing. And then he, um, of course, now Naruto and Team 7 were, ex well, understood the mission that they had to go on. Uh, it was an ex escort type mission, you know, to escort Tarzana to the land of waves. And uh, yeah, didn't mind it. But anywho, of course, it was the lowest of, you know, C rank missions. And anyways, of course, uh, now. Team 7 actually went home to get ready. Of course, Naruto here actually uh, decided to go train uh, as per normal with his friends. And, uh, you know, he told them about their first ever C-ranked mission. And, you know, his friends already did a C-ranked mission because, you know, the uh, their teams are, like, really, really, you know, skillful. Compared to, uh, you know, Team 10 and 8, Team 7 is actually way far behind, especially because Team, you know, 10 has two people who were trained by Shisui Chiha himself and team 8 has you know Shino being a prodigy Hinata being a prodigy here and Tsuki being a prodigy of course having three prodigies um, is a big advantage compared to other teams um, since uh, you know team 7 only has one prodigy which is Sasuke and he's actually weaker than you know the knucklehead Naruto but anyway, of course uh, well by weaker I mean like um, he hasn't had the same amount of training that Naruto had and you know Naruto's Taijutsu is uh, actually better than all, the, all of the Rookie 9. Uh, you could say that he's on par with Lee but uh, a bit weaker because Lee has the you know gates and everything but still Naruto's really strong with Taijutsu and uh, even better than Hinata at this point because you know Naruto trained even harder now but anywho uh, of course uh, Hinata didn't know about this because she hasn't been watching Naruto train anymore because she doesn't care. Uh, she doesn't like Naruto in the first place. She's actually more interested in uh, Sasuke than um, Naruto. But anywho, uh, now, uh, yes, she's interested in uh, Sasuke. And I'm sorry for all the Hinata fans out there. Uh, yes, uh, this will be a bit of a hate uh, well, uh, towards Hinata from me. But, but, anywho, now, of course, Naruto, who, you know, was ecstatic about, you know, his uh, first ever C rank mission. He trained for a while. And, you know, uh, then he went home uh, with Tsuki. Tsuki, of course, was, you know, uh, really excited for Naruto, you know, uh, well, no, <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, <clears throat> she was really happy for Naruto. And, yeah, of course, uh, Naruto um, asked her how her f first C-rank mission was. And, you know, she said that it wasn't too bad. Uh, it actually, you know, uh, was an escort mission just like his. But now they only do C-rank missions. And they're a bit harder than before. But it is what it is. Of course, Naruto just says that, you know, one day he'll become just like her. Just as strong as her. And, you know, Tsuki then just says, you're already, sh you're already strong. You don't have to downgrade yourself like that. And, of course, now Naruto, you know, goes off on his way. And same as Tsuki. Anywho, of course, Naruto was actually going home, uh, you know. Um, but he was actually, you know, ambushed by two people. Of course, uh, these two people, um, Naruto only knew one of them. Of course, uh, at first, you know, uh, one of the uh, people uh, actually came up to Naruto and just asked a question uh, about Naruto. Of course, Naruto answered with, uh, you know, excitement in his voice. And, you know, out of nowhere from the back, uh, he actually got hit on the head and he was actually fainted. Of course, then Naruto actually woke up in a field where, you know, uh, then uh, Hinata, of course, uh, appeared. And yes, one of the, pers the people were was Hinata, not were Hinata. But anywho, of course, Hinata, you know, uh, just said, oh, hello, Naruto. I guess you woke up now. And of course, it was actually dark. Naruto got hit so hard that, you know, he was out for a few hours. But anywho, of course, Naruto at first, um, he was like, Hinata, uh, was that you? Oh. Like, who knocked me out, and you know, um, then you know, Hinata just says, No, it wasn't, it was actually my cousin. And basically, you know, Neji then shows himself, and uh, you know, Neji then uh, just looks at Naruto in a disgusting way and actually spits on him. And you know, then Naruto uh, asks, uh, Why they're doing this to him, and you know, uh, Hinata then just says, Because I hate you, Naruto. And of course, Naruto's heart 
was actually broken uh, from this, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, Naruto was uh, completely broken and he asked if, uh, you know, yeah, from when did he, with, from when did she start hating him? And you know, Hinata then just says that she hated him from the very beginning, from when, oh, from the first time she saw him, you know, in the academy. And you know, Naruto was completely heartbroken from this. And you know, Naruto felt a bit betrayed because you know he spent all this time getting stronger to impress her, and now look at this. And you know, then Naruto just says, "I'm, I'm sorry, but did I do anything bad to you?" And you know, Hinata then just says you were born that's what you did and you know naruto just looks down uh, at this point and then uh you know <clears throat> neji actually speaks up and says don't look down you beast look up maybe you could see the night sky one last time before we kill you and of course as uh you know he says that naruto uh well of course uh, he kicks naruto in the face and you know uh just contradicts himself uh saying that Maybe he'll be able to see the night sky one more time, but then, Nar uh, you know, he kicks Naruto in the face and you can't see shit. <laughs> but anyway, of course, Naruto was hurt and, you know, Neji's not having any mercy. And, you know, they're only doing this, you know, uh, because they actually hate the Nomikaze clan. Even though, you know, they don't know Naruto's a Nomikaze, their father said that um, he's uh, just uh, someone that they should hate after all. And basically, you know, uh, they hate him for that. And by anyway, of course, uh, it wasn't Neji's father, uh, but Neji just listened by anywho. And plus, you know, uh, <clears throat> Neji's father didn't like the Fufukage either. But now, of course, uh, Naruto, uh, who was getting beaten, you know, even Hinata joined in, uh, you know, in the beating. Uh, of course, uh, uh, Otsuki was actually, uh, you know, searching for Naruto, you know. <clears throat> and uh, basically, he, uh, she w she actually went to Naruto because Naruto actually forgot something in her bag, and uh, of course, um, she wanted to give it back. But anyway, of course, when she went to Naruto's home, Naruto was in there for some reason, and so she actually went searching for him because uh, at this time he should be home, right? But anyway, of course, uh, now while she was searching for him, she actually you know came across uh, both uh, Neji and Shikamaru they actually went out together uh, because they had nothing to do at home and they were just hanging out especially because the next day should have been their day off but anywho, of course um, they are uh, they all uh, you know start searching for Naruto since Naruto should be home it's his first ever you know C ranked mission but anywho of course while they were searching for Naruto, Naruto was getting beaten. All his chakra points were blocked. He couldn't, he couldn't even stand up at this point. And, you know, then they both pulled out a kunai and they both threw at Naruto. One hit on Naruto's leg, one hit Naruto's, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> shoulder, left shoulder. And, you know, Naruto was bleeding. And at this point, Naruto has lost all senses. Like, literally, he doesn't care. He doesn't care if he dies. He doesn't really give a shit at this point. He's got, he's been betrayed. And, of course, he's not as big as a betrayal as before. But, of course, uh, he's been betrayed now. And, yeah, of course, Naruto really doesn't care. He doesn't care if he dies. He doesn't care if anything happens to him. He's gone through too much. He doesn't want to live anymore. But, of course, Naruto has that side of him that saying, Nah, bro, I ain't dying tonight. Not today, little boy. But, of course, now, uh, Naruto, uh, being Naruto... Oh well, a bit depressed right now because you know the love of his life, you know, just betrayed him uh, because she hated him and you know she likes someone in his team better than him. But that's not the point here. Naruto is getting killed, and of course, you know, Hinata then actually says, Let's finish the job, let's end this suffering. And of course, Naruto is just looking up at the sky at this point and is there. So, this is it, this is how I end. <laughs> ah. Was to be expected, not gonna lie. I uh, should have been expecting this from the very beginning. And of course, as he says that, you know, in his mind, uh, Naruto gets stabbed right in the chest. And, you know, blood g gushes out. And maybe I should have put a warning that this might get graphic. But anywho, blood gushes, gushes out like a fountain. Uh, and anywho, Naruto getting annihilated right there. Of course, um, at this point, he, you know, uh, realizes that it's all over. And uh, even the ninth was like, uh, this dumb kid, he should have just asked me for help. Oh well, let him die, I don't really care. And of course, the ninth was at this point has given up on Naruto too. Of course, that's just sad, but anywho, now, of course, um, while all of this was happening, while Naruto was getting, you know, 
annihilated. Uh, his friends actually finally arrived. They actually found out where Naruto was. Of course, Naruto isn't even screaming. He's just bleeding out. And he, he's looking at pathetic pretty much. Suki is the one who takes this, you know, the hardest. Uh, Shikamaru uh, and basically Choji actually come in the way to actually stop both, uh, you know, uh, Hinata and uh, Neji. And, you know, they were, they were about to continue on, on cutting Naruto's limbs uh, to a point that Naruto will never be able to move again. And at this point, Naruto doesn't really want to move again. Like, uh, there's no point. But anyway, of course, uh, uh, Naruto, who is bleeding out, uh, Tsuki actually, you know, appears and, uh, he, <clears throat> you know, Shikamaru and Choji both, uh, you know, stop Neji and Hinata from hurting Naruto anymore. And, you know, uh, they both glare at the two and literally, uh, you know, let out their bloodlust, you know. They want to kill them right now, but of course they wouldn't because they're not, you know, murderers like these two uh, who are willing to kill Naruto. But anyway, of course, uh, now... Uh, Naruto who was actually dying at this uh, rate you know Tsuki was crying and saying Naruto don't die stay with me you know and you know she was just telling Naruto that everything's going to be fine uh, he's not going to die uh, and she's going to stop uh, stop the bleeding and you know she had bandages on her because you know every time they trained someone could get hurt and you know she was just cautious because she doesn't want to lose anyone else you know after losing her brother she doesn't want to lose uh, you know one of her fr friends but anyway of course now uh, Naruto who's dying uh, she was able to stop the bleeding but Naruto still you know a lo he's lost a lot of blood so you know it was going to be hard for you know uh, Tsuki to stop the bleeding completely especially because uh, the wound is way too big there's three wounds that she has to you know cover and you know in the end Naruto was taken to the hospital the Hokage was alerted about this and you know an army actually helped the you know kids out taking Naruto but anyway of course uh <clears throat> the council had a meeting uh, with you know Hayashi and Hayashi at first he was like what the these two kids idiots they should have done it in secret they should not have been caught but of course uh, he didn't even know that they were going to do this in the first place but of course Hayashi was held responsible for this and you know um in the end uh Hayashi didn't you know receive any punishment for it because uh most of the council actually hated Naruto because you know uh, Naruto is basically in the night of Jinjuriki, but anywho, Naruto being in hospital, being visited by, you know, uh, his friends, and just saying, the mission, uh, you know, the Land of Waves mission was actually, you know, postponed to, uh, in three days, because that was when Naruto was going to be alright, and yes, it, it, it means that the uh, tuning exams will be postponed, but it doesn't really matter, because, you know, uh, it's not too much, but anywho, of course, now, uh, Naruto was actually visited by uh, Tsuki, uh, you know, and uh, uh, <clears throat> his friends, uh, but of course, Naruto really didn't respond to any of their questions, Naruto has been silent for the next three days, and you know, they just keep visiting him, just to, you know, keep him company, and they've even stopped doing missions, you know, Team 8, first of all, stopped, because, you know, uh, Naruto received their suspension, and, you know, um, Tsuki hated, hates Hinata at this point, and, you know, she wants to, you know, get revenge, but she can't, she knows that Naruto wouldn't want this to happen, even if, you know, uh, Naruto nearly got killed by Hinata, uh, she knows that Naruto wouldn't be happy, and plus, you know, her friends, you know, Shikamaru and Choji even told them, uh, told her, and, you know, all, the whole Rookie 9, well, all of the Rookie 9 were stopped from doing missions after this, because, you know, all of them were pretty startled at this, but anyway, they didn't know, you know, Neji, of course, uh, Team Guy was even stopped from doing missions at this point because of uh, the accident that happened. Of course, Jonin kept going, but uh, all the, you know, Genin actually had to stop because of, uh, you know, um, the commotion. But anyway, now, of course, Naruto, um, you know, recovers within three days and, you know, still decides to go on that mission, even though he's been given a choice to actually take a break from being a ninja. Naruto just uh, looks, uh, you know, at the Hokage and says, do you really think I want to take a break? And, you know, these were uh, Naruto's first words in days now. And, you know, the Hokage then says, all right, then Naruto, it's your choice, but be careful, okay? You're still injured. Do not strain yourself. And, you know, Naruto doesn't even listen and just says, all right, all right, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Anywho, of course, Naruto at this point, he's lost all, you know, feelings. He doesn't have feelings for uh, Hinata anymore. But, 
you know his friends actually came to you know say goodbye to naruto uh before he went on off on his mission his friends actually had another two days break you know team seven would be the uh first you know team to uh go out on missions again even though they're the team that was affected the most because you know naruto was the one who you know was the uh was the victim here but anywho of course uh uh, in the end, Team Seven actually goes off on the, on this mission, and you know they still notice the puddle. Of course, Naruto notices this uh, easily, since he's been training for you know most of the time, and uh, uh, from what he's seen, uh, you know uh, outside his uh, window of the hospital, he's seen that you know it's pretty clear outside. And yes, of course, Naruto notices this, and as soon as the two demon brothers appear, Naruto with two kunais, he's more than ready enough for them. And uh, what he does is that he uh, you know teleports in front of them while well, a body flickers there and just says well you chose the wrong time to attack maybe if you chose um a bit later while i wasn't paying attention you might have got the kill but i won't have any mercy and as he says that you know uh team seven sees you know naruto slaughtered the two demon brothers in cold blood and you know uh kakashi saw you know a look in naruto's eyes a look that he's seen you know he had Back in the days, you know, when he was an Anbu and, you know, Kakashi knew who Naruto is, you know, knows Naruto's true identity and he knows that he is Minato's son. And after seeing this look in, on Naruto, he realized that he should have been for Naruto when he was a kid. You know, this all led up, uh, you know, to this incident uh, because of, uh, you know, Naruto's bad childhood and everything. And, you know, also um, because people were hating on Naruto when he was a child as well. And... He says to himself, maybe, maybe if I was there for him, this wouldn't have happened. Because, you know, he believes that if, uh, you know, Kakashi adopted Naruto, maybe Naruto would have had a better reputation as, you know, Kakashi's son or something. But, of course, this was too late um, to think, well, it was too late to think about this now. But, anyway, of course, Kakashi was actually kind of impressed by Naruto being able to kill, you know, uh in such cold blood but he was more worried for naruto than impressed but anywho of course uh sasuke and uh, uh, sakura were like wait what and you know in the end kakashi uh you know being smart as fuck came to the conclusion of uh, you know that tazuna is the you know real target and uh, there's no way that they would be targeting him because uh, he hasn't been doing missions much lately and uh, there's no one after him uh, because all the people that were after him got killed by himself uh you know uh, but anywho, of course, now, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> Tazuna confesses and, you know, Naruto just says, whatever, let's keep going. And, you know, Kakashi says, are you the team leader, Naruto? And Naruto says, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about you. Anywho, let's just keep going. There's no point of returning to the village. What's the point of returning to that cursed place? Plus, I was able to take out two tuning, uh, tuning level ninjas on my own without even using a jutsu. Well, of course, the body flicker, but that's that doesn't really count. But plus, Sasuke is pretty strong. Sakura, maybe not as strong as me and Sasuke, but she could put up a fight, I believe, right? And of course, as he, as he says that, he just glares at Sakura, and Sakura just nods, and you know, um, and Sakura knows that uh, Naruto is just doing this because he wants to do the mission. But uh, after you know seeing that glare, a glare, not glare. Uh, she got kind of scared and so she don't want to deny or anything. But anyway, of course, Kakashi knows that Naruto is just doing this on purpose, scaring uh, Sakura. And basically, Kakashi then just says, Naruto, don't scare Sakura. She did nothing wrong. This is Naruto. You need to be careful. You know, this ninja, you know, the ninja world isn't as easy as you think. If a high ranking ninja comes out, you may even die. And basically, Naruto's like, doesn't really matter. And he did die a few days ago. So, it would just be less you know work for the village seeing me dead and of course you know uh kakashi at this point was actually you know kind of sympathetic to naruto and so in the end he just said all right then let's continue the mission and you know sasuke uh, was happy about this too because you know he wanted to do the mission you know he didn't want to you know uh, go back just because it was a bit of a higher rank mission in fact he was happier like this but anyway, of course uh in the end they uh still come across you know zabuza and here uh, Kakashi tells, you know, Naruto to do not get involved no matter what. And, you know, uh, Naruto then just says, all right, then. And, of course, Naruto just still looking at pathetic. Uh, Sakura asks Naruto if if he's all right. And, you know, Naruto just looks at her and says, do I look bad? 
now and of course you know Sakura just says no 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 you look fine and basically you know um Naruto then says then don't ask a question a stupid question and you know Naruto's being you know a bit apathetic here he's not having any consideration of uh you know how his team feels at this point uh he doesn't care he doesn't really care about anyone at this point uh, you know of course he still has that special place for his friends but Naruto after being betrayed it was just too much for you know his mind to you know cope you know cope, cope with that especially because Naruto has you know handled handled a lot of shit in his life like for example the villagers hating him and everything like Naruto had multiple chances to kill many villagers that you know glared at him spat at him and everything you know uh threatened him you know once he became a ninja he could have killed him easily but you know Naruto wouldn't do it because he loved the village and of course there's still that little side of Naruto where he wants to become Hokage but at this point it's mostly gone especially because after what happened you know Naruto has no trust in the village and all he can do is trust himself and you know maybe his friends but for all he knows they're just faking it to you know betray him but anyway, there's no proof of that and plus his friends have been friends with Naruto for way too long uh, to actually do that but anyway we all know that they wouldn't do that uh unless i pull off some bullshit trick which uh, would piss off a lot of you guys and plus i don't want to do that anywho that'd just be cruel anywho now of course naruto uh, who's watching the fight he, he was actually really impressed by you know kakashi and both Zabza. and you know uh naruto um uh, says to himself hmm, i may be strong but these two they're on two different levels I cannot compare myself to them and of course Naruto just looks away uh, at this point but as he does that you know he hears the sound of you know lightning sound of uh, a thousand birds and then looks back again to see Kakashi about to kill Zabuza but then he slips and you know Zabuza takes this to his advantage and you know uh imprisons uh, Kakashi of course Naruto's like oh, you, you idiot and of course um uh, Naruto then tells Kakashi that, uh, I mean uh, Sasuke that uh, uh his plan and basically Sasuke is that all right let's do it and basically you know the plan was the same as in the original uh how sasuke had to you know throw a uh, wind shuriken and, and you know naruto would transform and uh well into one so he can actually transform back to himself and throw a kunai to actually make zabuza leave well let go of the water prison and basically uh the plan went as per normal you know went perfectly no uh mistakes happened in uh, during this plan but anyway of course uh, Zabuza was impressed by you know these kids uh, being able to even trick him by any uh, it doesn't matter right now of course uh, Zabuza was still pissed off that he got tricked by two little kids and so he actually uh, you know left Kakashi because Kakashi was still uh, recovering and went for Naruto to actually kill him because he thinks Naruto is just a nuisance and you know Naruto just looks at uh, you know Zabuza and says all right then you want to die and of course as he says that Naruto uh, you know uh, pulls out a sword uh, from you know um <clears throat> his uh scrolls and basically Naruto has scrolls of his own and he was actually hiding a sword there and you know he actually tries to uh, slash uh, Zabuza but remember Zabuza is a master swordsman and Naruto really stands no chance when it comes to a sword fight well that sounded wrong but you know stands no chance when it comes to you know uh sword against sword and uh, Zabuza would wipe the floor with Naruto but anywho uh of course Naruto uh, sees that he can't do anything and so he actually adds lightning release to you know his uh, little katana and basically as he does that you know uh, Kakashi arrives again and says thank you Naruto that's enough and of course as he says that Naruto actually backs up because he doesn't want to get in the way at this point he doesn't want to actually die but uh, well of course he doesn't care if he dies but what, he, what I mean is that Naruto doesn't re really want to gain Kakashi's way. Kakashi, it's Kakashi's fight and, you know, Naruto would be pissed if uh, Kakashi got in the way of his fight. And, of course, Kakashi didn't get in the way of Naruto's fight against the Demon Brothers. So, he's just respecting Kakashi and uh, just allowing him to fight his own fight. Anywho, of course, uh, Sasuke was like, when did you have a sword? And basically, Naruto's like, it doesn't really matter. So, and, of course, uh, you know, Sasuke then just says, don't be so rude you loser and of course Naruto's there all right weakling and you know Sasuke then uh, Naruto and Sasuke you know start fighting a bit but then you know Naruto's like whatever anywho of course uh Naruto well uh in the end uh Sasuke and uh, Naruto just uh, keep watching the fight and you know Kakashi was about to win the fight until you know Haku arrived out of nowhere and saved the uh, um <clears throat> Zabuza and yeah he escaped with Zabuza and Naruto, uh, who's a sensory ninja, and, you know, he was sensing a lot of things around uh, them. He he couldn't sense, you know, Haku, and so uh, 
uh, he was impressed and you know uh, he tells them that that one is dangerous he was able to hide his presence even from naruto who is a sensory ninja which was unknown to all of them pretty much except for kakashi kakashi actually you know realized straight away but anywho of course now you know uh, tazuna still takes them to you know his cottage but anywho uh kakashi still tells them that you know uh, haku well the masked figure wasn't an anbu but he was actually uh, one of uh, zabuza's subordinates and so zabuza is still alive which startles you know um uh, both Tazuna and Sakura, but Naruto, uh, you know, um, really didn't care, and so he's like, all right, then, next time we see that one, the masked one, I'll fight him while you fight, because Z- uh, is understood, and, you know, Kakashi then says, huh, whatever, understood, I'm sure you can take him on right, Naruto, after all, uh, you know, you're pretty strong, and basically, you know, uh, then uh, <clears throat> Sasuke says, no, I'll take him on, and basically Naruto's like, are you sure, little weakling, and, you know, uh, Sas- Sasuke just gets pissed at this point but then you know uh, <coughs> Kakashi tells him no Sasuke and you know in the end you know uh, Kakashi still tells them that he'll be training them uh, from now on and uh, well until you know they go back to the bridge in case uh, Zabuza actually returns but anyway of course Naruto has to train with them because he doesn't know tree walking but after all uh, after all the training you know Naruto was still exhausted and uh, you know um still meets Haku and Haku still tells him about you know if he has a precious one he'll just get stronger Naruto really didn't have a precious one but he actually vibed with Haku and in the end became friends with him uh, but anywho of course uh, Naruto wasn't really planning on becoming anyone's friend anymore but of course uh, Haku was an exception because you know Haku was uh, really really kind to Naruto you know even giving him some water uh, when he was a uh, thirsty and you know not many people ever did that in his life and in the end, Naruto actually accepted Haku as a friend, and so he actually, you know, started talking to Haku. But anywho, now, after Haku left, you know, Naruto went back to his training, and um, after, you know, mastering tree walking, he actually uh, began his training in one of the, you know, jutsus from the scroll of ceiling that he stole, uh, and, you know, he started training in the flying raijin. Of course, Naruto, at this point, he's actually, you know, uh, become really apathetic and you know he doesn't care for other people's life at this point except for you know maybe his friends but he doesn't he can't really trust them and you know anywho of course now uh the next day you know naruto still wakes up late and uh, saves inari and his mother and tells them that they should go to the village unless they want to die unless they have a death wish and you know in the end they actually go to the village to be safe there but anyway naruto goes to the battlefield because he doesn't want to lose uh, you know his chance to fight the massacre and he knows that he has a feeling and you know while he was actually uh, heading there he actually could feel that you know the mass figure was back and uh, Zabuza was there too but as soon as Naruto arrived you know Haku uh, had to you know uh, put them in the, in the ice mirror same as uh, you know both Naruto and uh, uh, Sasuke but anywho of course Naruto realized that these uh, mirrors are made out of ice and you know uh, he tells Sasuke that uh, he should uh, try to get out while Naruto takes care of this and you know uh and Sasuke then just says do you really think I'm that weak and of course Naruto then just says sharp it's too dangerous here and of course as he says that you know uh, Sasuke actually decides to uh, create a fireball jutsu and attack Naruto with it instead of you know the ice mirrors and Naruto's like you imbecile and of course uh, uh, Naruto just creates an ice uh, I mean a water wall to actually protect himself and says that if he fights against him then he's just uh, asking to die because Naruto will definitely kill him if he uh, you know if he wants to and you know Sasuke just tells him to uh, bring it on and you know Naruto then just says oh, you idiot and of course uh, as the uh, you know Naruto just looks away Sasuke then says I knew it you're too scared and as uh, you know uh, Sasuke says that Naruto just glares at you know uh, Sasuke and uh, Sasuke gets pretty shook because Naruto's you know glare uh, oh, again I said glare uh, Naruto's glare was actually pretty strong and you know he even scared uh, you know Sasuke but anywho of course now uh, Sakura even saw this and Sasuke actually backed up a bit and Naruto then says all right we'll have to work together to get out of here and you know as he says that you know uh, Haku actually throws Senbo now uh, you know uh, Naruto of course not trying to kill him actually trying to take him out because after seeing Naruto uh, you know using his bloodlust uh, Haku realized that Naruto uh, you know is dangerous and of course now uh, you know Naruto who was about to get hit by you know the Senbo Sasuke comes in the way and just says you idiot 
get out of the way next time. And of course, as he says that, Sasuke falls to the ground. And Naruto's like, God damn it. And I bring down one of my teammates as well. Oh, I'm an idiot. And of course, as he says that, you know, he looks at Haku and, uh, you know, at this point, Naruto is just pissed. And, you know, uh, Naruto actually, you know, begins uh, the fight by actually trying to blitz Haku. And, uh, you know, Haku uh, says, what the? And, you know, Naruto being so fast that Haku couldn't even tell uh, where Naruto came from. Naruto then actually uh, creates, uh, you know, uh, well, throws the shirk oh, well, I mean, kun a kunai, and then says kunai shadow clone. And as he says that, you know, all the kunai actually, you know, uh, multiply. And uh, yeah, Naruto then uses his technique to actually, you know, after Haku was able to dodge all of them, Naruto then uses the technique of actually um, pull, uh, pulling on the string and, you know, showing the string off. And basically, Haku realized that he's in danger. And basically, Naruto wraps Haku in the strings and then just lets out a ton of lightning. And this lightning was even stronger um, here than, you know, against uh, Kakashi since Naruto is, uh, really doesn't care. But anyway, of course, now... Um, Haku, uh, you know, Haku's mask even, you know, got destroyed and Naruto saw that it's Haku and basically Naruto then just asks why and, you know, um, Haku just says that, you know, his precious one is uh, uh, <clears throat> Zabza and Naruto then says, oh, I understand, I'm sorry Haku and, you know, um, as he says that they hear the sound of a thousand birds and, you know, uh, then Haku actually gets out of, uh, you know, Naruto's grasps and, uh, goes in the way of you know Zabuza and Naruto sees uh, one of his friends you know uh, this is the first time Naruto has seen one of his friends die and you know uh, he you know Haku got annihilated that basically uh, Naruto just saw Haku die in front of his eyes and basically then uh, you know uh, Zabuza, Zabuza not Zabuza Zabuza just starts bad mouthing you know um, Haku saying that he finally served his purpose and this just you know snapped uh, well something snapped in Naruto and Naruto so, and of course then he just blitzes uh, uh, Zabuza and just kicks him in the chest and, ju and then just gives him a talk on Jutsu uh, saying that he was really a tool, he saved your life, if he wasn't there for you, you'd be dead now. And of course, uh, you know, Naruto is being pretty rough with uh, Zabuza, actually kicking him around and basically then uh, Naruto just says, imagine, imagine Kakashi Sensei actually went all out against you. Do you really think you would have been able to beat him when I'm beating your ass? And of course, uh, you know, uh, Zabuza just uh, at this point actually realized that he was wrong. And, you know, uh, after this, you know, uh, Gato uh, actually arrived. And, you know, anywho, of course, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, Zabuza hears, uh, you know, Gato say that he wasn't even going to pay them. He was just trying to get rid of them and he was hoping these ninjas would kill them. But... Since they couldn't finish the job, uh, he's going to have to do it. And, you know, all his men actually start attacking, uh, you know, Zabuza. And Zabuza being pr uh, literally on the brink of death, you know, still stands up and, you know, uh, literally uh, just tries to actually, you know, fight. And, you know, Naruto just says, stay down. I told you, stay down. I'll handle them. Just stay down. And, of course, as he says that, you know, uh, Zabuza just says, shut up, you damn brat. You don't understand. Me and Haku went through way too much. Do you really think I don't respect him? And you know, uh, as he says that, you know, Naruto just, uh, you know, raises an eyebrow and says, Really? So you respect him? You didn't really look like it before. And of course, you know, Naruto at this point, um, he doesn't really care what uh, Zabuza has to say. But he can see something has changed in Zabuza. And so, you know, uh, <clears throat> Uh, he's actually uh, uh, allowing Zabuza to stand back up and in the end Zabuza takes all of them out and Naruto is actually just watching and he is impressed of course Zabuza being really strong in the first place so, you know um, Naruto just congratulates him and on beating Gato's men and killing Gato in the end and you know uh, Naruto uh, actually uh, promises him that he'll bury both of them in a good grave and you know they deserved it they did their best they did what they could and you know it was just unfortunate they had to come across them instead of anyone else if it was anyone else they'd probably ha they probably would have won but anywho of course now uh naruto uh <clears throat> after being you know uh, after naruto you know uh finished the speech uh zabza uh, rested you know and uh, you know in the end um just died 
and uh, you know Naruto was pretty saddened by this you know Zabuza who actually understood uh, what he meant to have someone oh uh, you know he actually under uh, always loved the Haku just like a son of his but you know now they're both dead and Naruto respects the both of them and just uh, you know takes their two bodies and starts burying them himself right now and you know uh Sasuke uh you know wakes up and says what are you doing Naruto and Naruto then says do you really need an explanation do you not have eyes and of course uh Sakura just tells uh, Sasuke that Naruto uh, the just leave Naruto alone and you know uh, Sasuke is like oh, this damn loser then of course goes back to sleep but anyway and now of course Naruto after finish uh finishing the job actually just uh looks ahead uh you know at Kakashi and Kakashi just smiles it back at Naruto you know Naruto wasn't smiling or anything but you know Kakashi just smiles at Naruto and uh, yeah anywho of course after this uh, Naruto and Team 7 head back after helping Pazuna building the bridge and you know uh, <clears throat> after this Naruto and the uh, you know uh, Naruto returned to the uh, village and you know some people were happy that Naruto returned for example his friends but you know most of the villagers were like oh, damn brat he's back after all and you know they were hoping that naruto died and basically uh naruto just glares back and just says don't worry one day i will die in a mission so you don't have to be worried there's no need to hide it i know you hate me and anywho of course now uh naruto uh just walks uh away and you know uh even uh Konohamaru, you know, Konohamaru still met Naruto and he still admired Naruto's, you know, determination to become Hokage and he always called him older brother Naruto and, you know, Konohamaru asked, uh, you know, Naruto what happened and, you know, Naruto just says, Konohamaru, it's not the time, go away and, of course, Konohamaru just went away because he didn't want to get hurt, uh, you know, he didn't want to piss off Naruto at this point but, anyway, especially because Naruto looked pissed enough but, anyways, now, uh, of course, uh, Naruto and, uh, uh his friends actually meet up, you know, his friends actually wanted to talk to Naruto and, you know, they all apologize to Naruto that they couldn't uh, reach him earlier and Naruto just says there's no need to apologize, it was my ignorance, they don't need to. And of course, as he says, that he just walks away and, you know, they ask him where Naruto's going and, you know, Naruto then just says he's going home and, you know, they're like, wait, don't you want to train? And, you know, Naruto's like, I don't really feel like it. I'm sorry. I'm going home, and of course, then the next day, uh, Kakashi wastes no time after finding out about the finding out about the tuning exams. You know, he tells his team about the tuning exams, and so you know his team actually begins training. But Naruto, Naruto really doesn't care, and you know until um, one day uh, when he was actually trying to sleep, um, you know Saki came to his door and asked Naruto if uh, you know uh, he wanted to train with her, uh, just her. Not the other guys, uh, they've already trained together and, you know, Naruto just says no. And, you know, Saki just says, do you not like hanging out with us anymore? And basically, you know, Naruto uh, just looks back, you know, and sees, you know, Saki on the brink of tears. And basically, Naruto, at this point, he realizes that he made Saki sad. And so, he's like, no, 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 it's not, it's not what you think it is. Anywho, then, you know, Saki just, uh, you know, uh, apologizes one more time for not being there for Naruto when he needed her. Uh, her the most uh, you know and apologizes in the behalf of you know uh, even the other two and you know naruto just says there's no need of apologizing i told you before don't make yourself feel bad for me it's not your fault it's my ignorance like i said before and it's not that i don't like you guys anymore it's just that i don't want to train i don't really want to hang out with anyone anymore i've always caused pain to you guys even when i was unconscious even when i was in the hospital you guys were just going for pain i know you are so i don't want to cause it anymore so and anywho i guess you should go home it's getting late and anywho of course then saki says uh you know you know there's no one waiting for me at home and basically you know uh naruto then you know <clears throat> uh actually you know, uh realizes what he said you know he said that uh, she's gonna be late but why shouldn't she be late like is there anyone waiting for her but anywho of course, Naruto then just apologizes, saying, oh, I'm sorry. And of course, then Saki then um, says, why are you apologizing now? And of course, she was crying. And Naruto actually, you know, just uh, holds Saki's face and just makes her look at him. And then uh, he just says, Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? It's not your fault. Don't cry. Don't cry on the behalf of me. Don't cry because of me. It will just make me feel sad. So please, just go home now. 
There's no need to worry about me anymore. It's fine. You tell the others that they shouldn't worry about me anymore. It's fine. I told you multiple times that this world doesn't really need me. Even when we were kids, I told you, I asked you why you wanted to be my friend out of all the other pe people that you could have been friends with. You still haven't answered that question. To be honest, you've always given me a vague answer. You've always given me the answer that I'm Naruto. Whoever I am, it's fine. And of course, uh, you know, I was happy. But of course, uh, you know, uh, things change. And, you know, Naruto uh, tells her that, you know, he's changed and uh, there's no way that, you know, he can go back to the old self, uh, him old, his old self. And, you know, Saki at this point, she was completely, you know, um, <clears throat> heartbroken and, you know, just runs away. And at this point, you know, she she really was sad. And, and you know, both Shikamaru and Choji were actually, you know, eavesdropping at this and you know they just uh, come out from the corner of naruto's uh, you know home and just say you've really done it now naruto and you know naruto does just says you know eavesdropping is a bad habit and basically you know they're just like whatever you've done it now you made saki cry atsuki cry and now look at her she's running and then he of course naruto just looks ahead and just says oh well here's what it is but you guys heard the whole conversation so you don't have to worry about me anymore. I told you guys. You heard it yourself with your own two ears. Now, I think you should go console her. And you know, then they say it shouldn't be you. You're the one who made her cry. And Naruto then says, I'm sorry. But just forget about me. And of course, Naruto really doesn't want them to actually, you know, get hurt because of him. He's done, you know, causing pain to others. He believes it's his fault, you know, that uh, his friends got, you know, were... Uh, his friends were sad and he knows that his friends were sad and worried when he was um, getting, he was in the hospital and everything, you know, having that um, a blood, uh, you know, donation, transplant, whatever. And, you know, he knew that they were worried, especially because they came to visit him every day afterwards and, you know, not to even talk because he was, you know, embarrassed. He was sad that it's, uh, you know, he was more, it's not even pride, it's literally naruto telling himself that he shouldn't hurt his friends uh, over uh, you know trivial things over a crush and you know it's what he's been doing for the past however many, many years and you know naruto wants to stop this and so he tells uh, now he's done it he's told them that they don't need to worry about him anymore and you know there's no need uh, to of them being his friend anymore because you know uh, he doesn't need uh, any friends at this point after what happened you know Naruto is broken inside and they know that so that's why they're not you know blaming Naruto for what he's just done to Saki and so they actually go uh, Tsuki Tsuki sorry to Tsuki and so they actually go and console Tsuki and they just tell him tell her that you know Naruto has gone through a traumatic you know experience and uh, from his point of view he is the one causing pain to them it's not you know the, the other way around and basically you know uh, Tsuki just says it's fine he doesn't want to be our friend anymore it's his choice and you know she just smiles at them saying that it can just be the three of them now and you know uh atsuki is only doing this because she doesn't want to you know pry in naruto's business anymore and she doesn't hate naruto in fact she still you know has a crush on naruto but it's just that they're all separated now anyway after this uh, traumatic you know experience everyone separated team eight is uh, separated as well except for you know Mostly it's uh, um, Saki from, uh, you know, Hinata. They don't talk anymore and they don't, you know, uh, cooperate anymore. Especially after what happened. Saki hates her. And, you know, Hinata even to uh, sometimes even just toys with her and says that maybe you shouldn't hang out with that demon brat. Maybe you shouldn't have saved him. You wouldn't have had to go through all this pain. Uh, you know that, right, Sa Tsuki? And, you know, uh, then you know, sometimes Tsuki just wants to, you know, kill her. But, of course... Uh, uh, the one to stop her is actually, you know, Shino. Shino is like the peacemaker between them three, them two. But anywho, of course, Shino can understand, you know, why Tsuki is uh, pissed off. And he doesn't mind Naruto. He was uh, one of the guys that, you know, didn't mind Naruto at all. And yeah, of course, uh, he wasn't really Naruto's friend because he's an introvert and he didn't get to, you know, say hello or anything. And so that's why he, was, uh, he wasn't in the group. But he doesn't mind Naruto at all. In fact, he actually respects Naruto's grind. But anyway, 
of course Naruto the next day he wakes up pretty late it's already uh you know 10 a.m well pretty late for him usually he uh, wakes up at like six just to train and then you know uh just spend the rest of the day um training and doing missions but anyway now you know naruto who has two weeks off uh, uh to train for the training exams he really doesn't care he doesn't care he doesn't want to you know participate but since you know his team definitely wants to participate even sakura started training after you know uh naruto uh just saying that even sakura can fight and that was a complete lie and you know naruto did this because he just wanted to do a mission and you know sakura realized that she can't fight at all even in the you know bell test she was the one to not fight and uh, naruto is just uh, so much stronger than her and she wants to catch up by any of course naruto who doesn't want to train at all he uh, doesn't care but he's still going to participate in the training exams because he knows that you know his team wants to and he doesn't want to you know bring them down just because he's depressed by any of course when Sasuke is training his ass off just uh, as per normal, Sakura is training, everyone's training, even you know Naruto's friends, even though Naruto is not going to uh, be with them, they're actually training and yeah, of course now, Naruto, it's been a week and Naruto has another week and you know, he's uh, he gets a knock at his door and you know, it's Suki again and Naruto then says, come in, it's raining and of course Suki was just looking down, she was drenched and you know, uh, Naruto let her in. And at this point, you know, Naruto was just, uh, he realized that he's just hurting Tsuki at this point. And so, you know, he asks, uh, he just uh, says sorry to her. And, you know, Tsuki says, it's fine. You don't need to apologize. It was me. Uh, I pride. I'm sorry. And, of course, Naruto then says, is that all you had to say? Well, if, you, if that was all, I suggest you should go home and here, take this. And, of course, offers her an umbrella. But then Tsuki then uh, just says, no, it's fine. I just want to tell you something that, you know, the tuning exams, I'm not going to go easy on you. I'm going to beat you and I'm going to become, you know, a tuning. And Naruto just, it just says, hey, you do whatever you want to do. It's fine by me. I don't really care. And, you know, Naruto is only saying that because, you know, he's not going to try in the tuning exams. Uh, he's just going to allow his team, you know, help out his team uh, to, you know, get into the, like, oh, well, finish the team <coughs> practicals shits and everything and you know uh then he's done he doesn't really care about the uh, the rest of the exam uh he's just going to allow someone to get a free win and he's just going to go off on his own anywho of course suki uh then asks uh, if uh, he's going to even participate and not as that yes because my team wants to but it doesn't mean i want to become a tuning i'll stay again in my whole life i don't really care and you know uh suki then says you do you and of course she just walks away and you know naruto was really sad that, well uh, saddened that you know tsuki just walks away without even saying goodbye at this point and you know even tsuki was sad that you know naruto changed this much but of course uh of course before he wanted to become hokage and now look at him he's just there just wanting to live and you know not live but just being depressed but anyway, the next day of course, uh, Shikamaru, Choji and, you know, Saki were all training together and, you know, Shikamaru and Choji asked, you know, uh, Tsuki if she still liked Naruto and Tsuki just said, no, I don't. And of course, uh, they knew that was a lie because Tsuki has, you know, been worrying about Naruto the most out of all of them. They've been worrying about Naruto. They miss Naruto, you know, they miss training with Naruto, you know, Naruto was like, uh, they used to vibe a lot, like a lot, a lot. But anyway. Of course, they know that Tsuki uh, is um, uh, the the one that's more most hurt from Naruto leaving their little friend uh, friendship group and everything. But anyway, of course, now they try to console Tsuki, but then Tsuki just says, "It's true. I don't care if he left or not. It's his choice. It's his life. He can do whatever he wants." And of course, then you know Shikamaru actually slapped Tsuki, and Tsuki's like, "What was that for?" And basically, Shikamaru's like, "Maybe act like yourself next time." We all, we both know that you still like Naruto. Why don't you just want to admit it? And, you know, Tsuki, you know, at, at this point, she's getting pissed off and, you know, just says that she doesn't. And basically, you know, Shikamaru and Choji both hug Tsuki. And Shikamaru and Choji, not Tsuki. And Shikamaru and Cho uh, Choji both hug Tsuki, saying that it's fine. Naruto will come to his senses one day. And, you know, they'll just have to wait. They'll just have to be there for Naruto whenever he wants to return. And, you know, Tsuki, at this point, she just breaks down. She's you know being her true self and she's saddened you know she tells them that 
uh, you know, she wants to help Naruto, but he doesn't, he just doesn't accept her help, and, you know, they just both say yes, we know, we know, and, you know, uh, at this point, Tsuki is, uh, you know, broken inside as well, just like Naruto, they both, they're both broken, Naruto is still, you know, even though he doesn't want to train, he's still, you know, at home, learning all the basics of the, you know, flying Raijin, and um, he's actually uh, been able to do it once in his, ho uh, you know, uh, at his home, but, you know, he drained him a lot and he realized that maybe this isn't for him. But, you know, in the end, he just, you know, still continues, uh, you know, reading about it and just does a few practicals at home. But, of course, he doesn't, uh, Naruto doesn't really care. He's only doing this, you know, uh, for the fun of it at this point, you know, since he has nothing else to do. But, anywho, of course, now, uh, the, the, one, the two weeks have, uh, you know, passed and Team 7 reunited after two weeks and, you know, uh, Kakashi could see that Naruto's, you know, um, Naruto's look is more apathetic than it was before, and Naruto looked more broken inside than before, but he still wished them luck, and, you know, they actually, you know, went into the first exam, and the first exam went pretty easy, of course, the Genjutsu was there, and Sakura was the one to get rid of it, because Sakura, even though it's only been two weeks, Sakura is really, really strong, um, at this point uh, of the story, but anywho, of course, uh, Sakura got rid of the Genjutsu and Naruto was kind of impressed by Sakura but it is what it is Sa uh, Naruto just ra raises an eyebrow and uh, you know just looks away afterwards because he really doesn't care but anywho after this you know the <coughs> you know a written exam begins and you know Naruto easily passes that finishes the test within minutes uh, after he started and you know uh, broke the you know uh, Minato's record and same as you know uh, Itachi's record but he didn't really care and then you know just started sleeping in the classroom of course Hinata was still behind him and you know Hinata was just poking him uh, with a kunai and trying to make him bleed and basically Naruto just glares back and literally um, you know breaks the kunai and you know um, Ibiki gets pissed off and says you two do that again and you get disqualified and Naruto's like I'll be more than happy to get disqualified at this point and you know Naruto really doesn't want to do this uh, he's only doing it here for his team as soon as you know the team exams are finished he's done he's not going to fight anymore and anywho now of course uh, Naruto um, the next, uh, of course, Team 7 passes easily, Sakura being smart as hell, uh, Naruto being smart as hell, Sasuke barely passing, even though he, he, he's smart, but, you know, the exam was pretty hard, even for him, but anyways, after this, you know, the second part of the tuning exam began, and that's where I'm gonna end off, I hope you'll enjoy the please stick, stay safe, this was King of Weaves, this was an hour and six minute part, but I actually wanted to continue it, and I'm really happy about this, uh, what if, and I'm going to finish it to, well, I might record the next part now, uh, right after this and uh, you know um i might actually make this into a one a two-part series but maybe not whatever anyway hope you'll enjoy it please take care stay safe this was the king of weaves and uh, also don't forget to subscribe to retreat minimum one to three uh hamesh and my second channel the king of weaves and also so follow shokan on instagram follow me on twitter and instagram and uh <clears throat> join the discord server link in the description below we're we're close to 700 members and uh we're just a few subscribers away from 12,000 subscribers. I want to thank you for uh, all of uh, all of you for this. And I'm pretty sure we'll hit 12k by the time this video is uploaded. But I just want to thank you here. And I'll probably do a stream, uh, you know, on Friday. Somewhere around there. But anyway, hope you'll enjoy that. Please take care. Stay safe. My darklings, you're dismissed. This was a King of Weebs there. And peace. Stay safe. Love you all.